it has finally arrived the official Raspberry Pi 5 hat along with its accessories. Let's get those nylon screws and standoff out of the packet and set them aside for now. Also take out the 40 pin connector too. Now bring out the Raspberry Pi 5, press the 40 pin connector onto the Raspberry Pi 5 connect pins making sure the alignment is good and correct and get those nylon standoffs and screws feed them onto the Raspberry Pi 5 uh, standoff holes so that later we can attach the Pi 5 hat securely to the main board make sure not to over tighten those nylon screws or the, th or the threads might snap now the important part you see the PCI corrector slot here pull those clips up to unlock the slot now place the hat as I, sh I have shown here making sure the ribbon cable enters the PCIe slot in correct orientation. Side by side align those 40 pins gently and press the board to connect those pins to the hat. Also make sure the ribbon cable is in the slot. After that close the PCIe clip and screw the hat to the main board. Take your SSD make sure it's NVMe and not SATA type. Unscrew the retention bolt and keep the bolt aside for now. Slot the SSD into the port making sure that the notch matches on the both ends. See it is now connected and held by the spring contacts of the slot. We are almost ready to attach a display to it. Grab the micro HDMI to full size HDMI converter and insert the cable into it. Bringing our setup here, connect the HDMI and power to these ports here like this making sure all the connections are firm and stable. On powering on you should get right into the desktop, uh, open the terminal and type lsblk to list all the storage devices. And there is our NVMe drive 466GB of storage out of 500. In case you don't see your NVMe here on the list then you will need to edit the config file like so. Run, run this command and scroll down to the file where it is uh, written all and under the all section write these following things. After that save the file and exit. It would start working right away. In case if it doesn't then reboot the file and to see if the drive is working or not let's run a benchmark using this command and wait for few seconds to let it finish. As you can see the drive is now working and the speed reported is 400 mps which is on par with gen 2 pci spec well that's it for this video hope you have enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one